All right, I've been fiddling around with this carburetor. And uh, I'm just trying to get it leaned out a little bit because it just stinks like fuel. And uh, it's been a while since I had a video. I think I said this on the last video. Still fooling around. But it's, um, it's about, you know, it's, it's running really good. I don't have any problems there. And just <clears throat> me being particular and all, just trying to squeeze every last bit of it out so that it, when I'm sitting up there, it doesn't stink so much like fuel. And I'm, I'm probably certain that these things, these old tractors are going to, smell <laughs> a little bit like fuel when you're operating them but for what it's worth I'm gonna try and shave as much of that off as possible and uh, it's gonna get some more fuel in it here it's been running great for plowing the driveway a lot of guys out there doing videos on that right now it's cool Yeah, so this is the 50. I think the last two videos were on the 65. But this is the 50. It's it's the high chassis model, so I use it for snow plowing because it's uh, nice and high and cuts through the drifts pretty easily. I got a back blade on it too. I noticed some guys use their back blade with the, uh, the curl forward. I like to use it backwards. It does less damage to my driveway. Um, you know, I pitch it into the center so that it's high in the center and drains off the sides. And uh, but when I'm doing snow, I like to I like to use it backwards with the curl with the curl of the blade out the back because it just it drags nicer and doesn't dig doesn't dig as much. But <clears throat> when you're grading the actual gravel, that's when I don't mind using the curl the proper way. Alright, this should be enough. I'm going to save some of that for the 65. Alright, I'm going to fire this thing up, take it and uh, let it warm up, and then back it outside so uh, the lighting will be a little bit better. Uh, minus eight right now. Let it warm up. until the, uh, the smoke turns clear on a cold day like this. That tells me it's, you know, should be warmed up enough to move it at least anyway. But you watch that smoke, it'll turn clear. And then uh, I figure that's warm enough to move it.
going to do here is I'm going to uh, measure where it's at right now. So I'm going to close it all the way and count the number of turns so that I understand how far it's backed out. I'm going to start with the main jet. was open one full turn and I'm gonna leave it there because I like the way it's running now I'm gonna check the uh, the idle air speed gotta get a different screwdriver I'm just gonna leave it and have a sniff and see what see what we're getting. So you can hear it, it's running really good. Sounds nice. Um, doesn't smell too bad, but like I said, these old tractors are bound to smell like something. I mean, <laughs> not gonna get away with no fuel smell, but you know, I like the way it's running. I think it's doing a great job. I haven't had a minute's trouble with this tractor, really, uh, other than, you know, points and condenser and, uh, you know, regular tune-up stuff. I did have to replace a brake, brake pad, but, you know, just regular stuff. Now, just to check the main jet setting, I'm going to grab the throttle and I'm gonna go from slow to high and see if it coughs and sputters. If it does, then I'll open it up a bit more. But if not, I'm gonna leave it. It's, uh, as you can tell, it's uh, when I lower, lower the idle rate down, it, it stalls. It's, the idle speed is too low, so I'm just adjusting that right now. Okay, I, uh, I had to adjust the idle speed, so I did that, and then I uh, had to back off the air idle screw another uh, quarter turn, and uh, sounds pretty good now. That's the low, the low idle there. 